welcome to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be talking about Scream Resurrection. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, Scream Resurrection was basically the third season of the TV series, um, but this time it was redone with a entirely new cast and instead of actually being released on MTV, it was released on VH1 as more of a miniseries. It was done over the span of a weekend, I believe. Now going into this, I feel like that's probably like most people definitely hesitant about it. I did do a reaction to the first trailer that they released and was actually pretty excited about it by the cast. Um, also the fact that the original mask was back um, and I did speak incorrectly in that review. Um, it is actually the original Ghostface voice as well, uh, which I was super excited about as soon as I heard it while watching the show. I was like, yes, it's, we got Ghostface. Uh, and those are two, I think, the most important things and things that a lot of people were disappointed that were missing from the first two seasons. Now. I've kind of avoided any reviews just because obviously I didn't want to see any spoilers, um, though I feel like what I have seen has probably been a lot of negativity, um, which I feel like of course is going to come when you're, I guess, revamping a beloved franchise and I totally understand um, people's worries and maybe negative feelings towards this. Um, I personally enjoyed it. Um, I am a sucker for basically anything Scream, so I was probably gonna enjoy this for the most part, no matter what. There were a few small things here and there throughout um, that kind of bothered me, um, but in general, I had a fun time watching this. Um, I really liked the cast. You obviously have Tony Todd, who is a or legend. For those who don't know, he played Candyman, which there's actually a bit of a shout out reference to that within his character, um, which I'm not going to get into because it's a big old spoiler. Um, one of the things that I did say I was pretty excited about within when reacting to the trailer that of course was a bit of a disappointment when I actually watched the show was that Paris Jackson was going to be in this. She is in it. She's in the opening scene. Um, she plays the opening blonde girl. Uh, won't get into that too much, but I was very disappointed that that was kind of basically all she was in it. Um, it was just this kind of past character, just kind of throwaway. That was a little bit disappointing. I was hoping to see more of her in this film, but that's fine. Um, like I said, I really liked the cast all in all. I thought everybody did a great job. I also very much enjoyed the Breakfast Club reference in the first episode. For those of you who don't know, outside of horror, uh, I love the 80s and The Breakfast Club is like my favorite film of all time, which that's why it sounded kind of funny when that girl was like, I'm a horror chick, so I can't like The Breakfast Club. I was like, girl! I'm a horror chick IRL and I love the breakfast club, but whatever. And I did make a couple of notes uh, on some of the things that I liked. Like I mentioned the Tony Todd, um, him being in it and just kind of that little reference to Candyman. Um, I also enjoyed the fact that they had a party scene very early on. Um, that was actually the start of everything um, instead of the ending uh, because throughout Scream the party is where it kind of ends um, that's supposed to be the big ending kill moment uh, <laughs> is the party scene and for this one it opens it so that was a really cool kind of change and twist uh, to horror and the show actually had quite a lot of graphic death scenes which isn't really something I feel like Scream necessarily does. They do have unique um, and weird death scenes, but you never really see like the killer like full on just like gutting people. We know that Ghostface does gut people, um, but you really see shit in this show, which I was not at all expecting. I feel like, 
especially maybe for VH1, um, but I kind of liked that. I'm, you know, I'm not sure how you guys feel about that, if you would have wished that it was a more kind of like off camera and then pan to the body thing, which Scream is pretty well known for. I kind of liked seeing it on <laughs> screen, which is a little fucked up, um, but I liked that they went like a bit of a graphic route with in the deaths. I thought it definitely made them harder to watch and way more intense. I also liked there was a bit of a callback to season two um, where there is a scene where one of the main characters, not really a spoiler, I don't feel like, but I'm not gonna say who it is, but one of the characters has a dream that they are the killer, um, which is something that Emma which is something that happens with Emma in season two of the original Scream TV series. <laughs> this is so weird to like try to explain, <laughs> but I think you guys get what I mean. So I liked that little callback as well. Now there is one little bit of spoiler that I do want to talk about, and that is the killer reveal. So if you have not seen that, spoiler alert. Um, I'll put my little speaker things. So the killer reveal. Of course this, of course in Scream fashion you have two killers. Um, the first one who is just a revengeful family member basically, which is very common within Scream. That was another thing I liked was that they went with this weird brother like route um which scream has done which both scream 3 and the first season of the scream tv series did a sibling situation um so i liked that little bit i thought i will say i thought that the reveal of dion as marcus or vice versa um was definitely weird um <laughs> Not really sure how I feel about that kind of plot twist. Um, let me know if you guys saw that coming. I didn't, which I was kind of surprised by. I was like, I don't know why I didn't think of that. Uh, but I thought that that was definitely very strange. But I didn't mind it. I wasn't hating on it. Just, it was a very weird route to take. Um, and I mean, I guess I kind of understand um, why his half-brother would be like so kind of upset about that because he's taken on you know obviously he's lying about who he is um and basically having a better life than his stepbrother has because of that i will say what i was disappointed about was the reveal of beth as the killer you know beth was kind of our like randy of this situation there's one in every franchise and they're usually not the killer now that's not to say that the killer is not a fan film geek. I mean, Billy Loomis was a total horror fan. I mean, it's been argued that he may have been a bigger fan than Randy, which was why he was able to like pull all this shit off, um, <laughs> which is a whole nother discussion. Um, there's also Mickey in the Scream too. He's the second killer and he is a film geek. And they definitely followed a Scream pattern family drama, film geek character, coming together, making the perfect combo. Um, and, but she was like our Randy. She should not have been the killer. Uh, it could have been somebody else. They could have had another side character. Um, I mean, you do gotta have other characters in this film that are a bit of film geeks. Um, I mean, you have Kim, who she only really watched <laughs> horror to get prepared, but she does seem to kind of know her stuff. And you also had Amir, uh, who could have been the one too. It just kind of put me out that she ended up being the killer. Um, and I kind of, I guess, I understand the motivation and it does sort of make sense. Her and Jamal's connection was a little bit weak, um, but you know, they are connected through her being a student of the same school as his brother so of course he would have found a way to her eventually um <laughs> but yeah those are just some of the little things that I kind of was a little bit nitpicky about but like I said I did in general enjoy this 
probably just too much of a sucker for scream things. Now I know that is probably gonna be an unpopular opinion, um, but you know, if your opinion differs from me, that is fine. But please be respectful in the comments. Any hate will be deleted. Um, so, but I do want to know what you guys thought of it in the comments below. If you did enjoy this video, please do give it a big old thumbs up. Make sure you hit the subscribe button for more horror related content. And before I go, I want to give a quick shout out to my Patreon. Thank you guys so much for helping to contribute to the channel. If you want to know the perks to being a Patreon, links are in the description below along with all of my other social media. And I'll see you guys later with another video.